friends, welcome back to the Fanvesta Report, a weekly podcast covering the business of celebrity that fans want in on. I'm your host, Jessa Moyer, a fellow fan and investor. Coming in hot off the holiday weekend, the market was doing the same until yesterday. Amazon has a new leader. The U.S. added 850,000 jobs last month. No one's taking a ride with Didi. The government caught its shut idea. Robin Hood is letting us in the hood, and Marvel is finally coming back to theaters near you, and fans are more than eager to invest. Clean beauty is now a $1 billion industry, a testament to how mainstream the clean beauty sector has become, and it's not going anywhere. Later in the show, we'll have an interview with one of the newest players in the space, the co-founder of Botanica Life, Stacey Shibati. She is the epitome of someone living her best life as an American entrepreneur. She's a lifelong model and the former Miss Glow and investor, but more on that later. If you've been following Fanbuster, great. And if not, you absolutely should, like right now. It's full of info and insight on the business side of Hollywood and celebrity that fans want in on. And did you know that the Chick-fil-A billionaire CEO plays a part in your favorite Marvel movies? So, you want me to tell you more, okay? But first, coffee. As I was sipping and scrolling recently, I saw this post and it made all the sense why Angelinos are moving in droves to the big A, Atlanta that is. Chick-fil-A's CEO, Dan Cathy, is not only the owner of the famous fast food chain, he's also the man behind the biggest film studio in North America. The studio renamed Trillith this past October is the home to 24 high-tech studios as well as satellite offices. Trillith sits on 730 acres of land and is located 25 miles south of Atlanta. Kathy spent millions of dollars to create a joint venture with Pinewood, a prestigious studio in the United Kingdom, and Frank Patterson, who's the current president and CEO of Trillith Studios. So, in 2019, Kathy Patterson and other investors bought out Pinewood's share in the studio. Over the past eight years, $430 million has been invested in the studio and the accompanying town. Across the road is a pre-planned community with hundreds of homes, a brew pub, a private school, parklands, and other amenities that Patterson is hoping will help lure the industry's core professionals to move to Atlanta. And so far, Trillith has sold more than 200 homes, and the demand is increasing more and more as professionals start to move out of LA. Starting in 2015, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige started filming at Trillith with the production of Ant-Man and has been filming there ever since. Almost every Marvel Studios production since has filmed there. And this includes films like Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, and the recent hit series WandaVision, and the Falcon Winter Soldier, and Loki. The Fanvestor social team polled fans on their favorite Marvel movies, Avengers vs. Ant-Man, the fan favorite, Ant-Man. Black Panther vs. Spider-Man? Well, the fans have spoken and Spider-Man has the lead. So let's dive a little deeper into this web. Marvel Entertainment has many subsidiaries, most notably Marvel Comics and Marvel Studios. The company has a complicated history though. In 1986, Marvel Entertainment Group, MEG, M-E-G, was formed as the parent company of Marvel Comics and Marvel Productions. That same year, the group was sold to New World Entertainment, LTD, and in 1989, Ronald Perlman's McAndrews and Forbes Holdings bought MEG for $82.5 million. Only $82.5 million. And in 1993, Marvel acquired Toy Biz, which allowed the creation of Marvel Toys. That same year, Marvel Films was created with Avi Arad of Toy Biz and was named president of CEO. So in late 1995, Marvel started to see losses. And on December 27th, 1996, Marvel filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Then two years later, Toy Biz and Marvel Entertainment Group were merged into Marvel Enterprises to bring it back out of bankruptcy. In 2005, Marvel Enterprises changed its name to Marvel Entertainment to reflect the corporate's expansion into financing its own movie slate. In 2009, the Walt Disney Company purchased Marvel Entertainment for $4.24 billion. As of today, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has spawned 23 films and three Disney Plus television series. The 24th film, Black Widow, releases this weekend after a two year long gap of no movies due to the COVID-19 pandemic, obviously. To date, MCU has grossed a total of 22.59 
billion dollars at the worldwide box office and who's to say how much it'll make this weekend and this just in the black widow scarlett johansson herself with a net worth of 165 million dollars has teased the launch of her beauty brand. She will be the founder and chairman while in partnership with beauty fashion executive Kate Foster. The investment will come from the private firm called Nunjaffe Companies, who also has strategic investments with Tracy Ellis Ross Pattern Beauty. While there's still not many details about Johansson's skincare brand, including a release date, it's most likely to be launched next year in 2022. ScarJo says she's been fascinated by the transformative power of beauty since she was a child her and me both. Her mother instilled a passion for self-care, and several years ago, she took a step back from her other beauty deals with the goal of creating something true to her. The results? A clean, accessible approach to beauty from the Black Widow herself. Fans would say that was a smart investment. As I mentioned earlier, clean beauty is a $1 billion industry. And coming up next, we'll have an exclusive interview with one of the newest players in the game, Stacey Shabati, co-founder of Botanica Life. Botanica Life is a new collection of clean, all-natural, eco-friendly, cruelty-free, and vegan beauty products, wellness, and pain relief products. The sustainably sourced Botanica Life collection features 100% U.S. organically grown and naturally extracted full-spectrum CBD products that provide a myriad of benefits to the mind, body, and skin. What's up, it's Amari Stoudemire here, and we're launching Masa with Fanvestor to offer a limited edition perks, products, and experience to my fans. Hey fans, welcome back to the Fan Festival Report. I'm your host, Jasmine Wei, and today I am so excited to welcome American entrepreneur, supermodel, former Miss Globe, Stacey Shibate, to join us today. Hi, Stacey. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm so grateful to be here and to celebrate the launch of your new product, Botanica Life. So tell us about it. Well, we're very excited that we finally launched. We spent a lot of time and a lot of love preparing our ingredients for you. Everything is super clean. Uh, it's actually clean, clean, which is one of the newest uh, labels, which you can actually ingest some of the products that you put on your skin. And as we all know, our skin is the largest organ on our body. So it's very important what we put on ourselves as much as we um, you know, think about what we put inside our bodies. Well, which is necessary, right? To maintaining the life and look for a lifetime supermodel like yourself. And when did you start using CBD? I started many years ago, but the big aha moment for us was when my husband started to use it. I, uh, I suggested it to him for some sleep uh, issues. And in the process of his sleep issues, we noticed that his um, sh blood sugar went down, his blood pressure went down. He actually was taking a little bit of something to help with that. And he was able to remove some of his medication and the rest he put to half. So at that point, that was really our aha moment. Like what is all about CBD and how far can we go with this? So with my background of uh, in the beauty world all of my life, um, and, you know, working for so many wonderful companies and knowing the insides and outs of their ingredients and such and what works and what didn't work. Um, I had a really great jump start to, to say, OK, I know this works. I know this works. And then, of course, delving into uh, CBD, which uh, we did a deep dive and found out what is the purest, the most organic and the, the most result driven part of CBD. I've noticed looking at the website for Botanica Life, you mentioned 100% full spectrum. Can you break that down for us? What does that mean? Okay, so there are many different types, just like any um, product that you put uh, in beauty. 
Um, CBD, you can have isolate. They're all, it's how you extract it, uh, part of the CBD, all of the CBD. You have powders of CBD. So what we do is the full spectrum, which is the entire plant. And uh, we, you know, we do only organic farming. And uh, it's just the way that you extract it so that you don't lose any of the, um, the high potency of the ingredients. And it's not just about the beauty. There's also pain relief supplements as well. Oh my goodness, our pain relief is, is through the roof. It's unbelievable. Um, well, I'm, I'm an avid tennis player and I love sports and because of my you know background in beauty and pageants and such, um, I spent my whole life working out and being healthy. And you know, every once in a while you get those pings and pangs. And so we decided to, uh, to try to put some of our CBD, which is extremely anti-inflammatory, which is the root cause of a lot of, uh, you know, inflammation obviously is, is what's aging people, what causes cancers and all kinds of things. So if you can cut down on inflammation, um, you can, you know, have a better quality of life. So we did uh, our full spectrum CBD. Uh, we put lidocaine in it to get the relief right away. We have arnica and menthol. So not only do you get instant relief, and I, I have shared our products with so many physical therapists that have been in the field more than 30 years, and they're, they're impressed, and all of my friends that are athletes. So I think we have a big future in the, the pain relief field, which was sort of a side note after we were doing the beauty products. And now it's, it's unreal the results we're getting because, um, well, you'll, I mean, we, ha we have a lot of doctors that are backing us now because of the results we're getting from our pain relief. And again, all natural. Well, it's so funny because beauty does not need to be paid. That old adage, beauty is pain, is long gone and doesn't belong in 2021. Yes, I agree with that. I think that people are actually realizing beauty comes from within and beauty should be something very simple and natural and less is more in every way, especially with the routine that you that you have in the morning and the evening. It should be as simplistic as possible, as pure and natural as possible. And that's that is what will be sustainable. If you can make it simple and result driven and get all the, the quality that you need in a very very simple routine. I, I think that's the, the future. It's interesting though, because that message translates far beyond skincare into the life of being an entrepreneur. So what was your biggest challenge, your biggest success as an entrepreneur? And how did you find that balance, that routine? Um, well, uh, botanical life is a botanical lifestyle. Um, we, um, are very involved with our family. We take a lot of input from everybody. And uh, we really have gone across the board in many different aspects of life as to what works. And so then we decided to take these products and these products and try and we formulated for a very long time until we came to what we have now, which we consider to be just a premium quality product that is like as i said before very result driven i mean your skin is just glows there's a huge difference after a very short time even after the first time you put it on actually um one of our pain relief somebody uh, a friend of ours had a tension headache and she said oh my gosh she put it on her neck and instantly and she said this is heaven in a bottle i said oh my gosh i'm gonna coin that <laughs> So beautifully said. So I'm, I'm proud of, of what we've created and uh, obstacles. Um, I think obstacles are just trying to keep everything super clean, super natural. It's very easy to, you know, go down the side road because there are easier ways to do things. But we absolutely um, have every intention to stay down the main road and stick with our uh, beliefs of being clean and vegan and natural. So let's talk a little bit about the business of being a supermodel from a career of representing other brands and products now to launching your own. 
Um, okay, so I started modeling when I was 16. Uh, back in the day, I was with the Eileen Ford agency. Um, most of my career with Ford, and uh, I, I did many magazines, a lot of different um, makeup companies, uh, all across the board. I mean, it was it was. I loved what I did, but I learned a lot along the way. I took that with me also into the pageant world, um, where I won a world title, which was very exciting. Um, and again, everything is based on in those in those arenas on beauty, wellness. And as my last child was uh, becoming a sophomore in high school, I said, there's got to be more. I'm, I'm going to do something else. So I went back to school. I got another degree in uh, integrative nutrition because I thought if down the road I could put all of these formulas together of what I've learned in the past and make my own formulas, I still, I have the, the, the clout in the beauty world, but I wanted it also in nutrition, although I, I grew up in a home that was extremely natural. My mother raised us with no sugars, no sodas, no, really healthy. Um, but, um, so I got my degree in nutrition and that was like the final stamp. And once I had that, I felt very confident to say yes. I now can say that I am very good in the beauty world, I know my stuff, and now I have a degree in nutrition, which, you know, is just sort of the stamp on it, although I did live that way my entire life. And so here we, here we are, we, we uh, have brought it to um, botanical life. And again, as I said at the beginning, our skin is the largest organ in our body, on, on our body. So I, I think that it's very important what you put on it because whatever you put on it obviously goes inside. So if you're working from what you're eating and working out, being healthy and putting the right things on your body, you absolutely cannot go wrong. It's so interesting that you mentioned, you know, your network and what, what you learned, your expertise is undeniable. And many people say your network is your net worth. How have been your biggest mentors, whether it's in life or in business? Um, I think that as many years as I've spent in the modeling and the pageant world, I think the experience of being with so many experts in the field and also working and actually being hands-on of doing it and meeting the CEOs of all of the, the makeup companies and uh, photographers and, you know, world traveling. I think that, you know, that just comes with the territory. I think after a while you become an outlier. And so by accident, I became an outlier. And now I'm bringing it to everybody because I, I feel confident to do that, that I have tried just about everything out there. And I think I know what really works and I wanna keep it very natural and clean. Like I said, less is more. And I think the future is all about being natural and a natural beauty. I love that you said that, and, and the fans absolutely yeah. agree. What is the mission, if you could say? What do you want to be known for? What is the mission of Botanic and Life? Is it less is more? Is it natural beauty? What is that for you? Um, well, I think that the mission of Botanic and Life is for people to bring us into their life, and, because Botanic and Life is a lifestyle. And I, I live my life the way that I produce my products, which is very real, very natural, very happy, very grateful. So I, that's what I would like to project. My, my intentions are for, to just enhance as many people's lives as I can and be grateful for every life that I touch with a you know, positive thing. Well, and now the market is ripe for it. Clean beauty is a billion dollar industry. And like there are trends with the market, obviously there are trends with skincare and clean beauty is at the forefront of that. From your expertise as a model and advocate and entrepreneur, what are some of the trends you've noticed? Well, I, first of all, I'm really excited that the trend is clean beauty, but um, I, I hope it's not a trend. I hope it's here to stay. In fact, I know it is because people are actually being 
educated now as to what they're putting on their skin. And a lot of people go to all of these wonderful places for detoxing. But you know, a lot of the stuff that we're detoxing is from putting what we're, what we're putting on our skin. And I think people are learning more and more about that. So um, I'm really happy to just, you know, give people very clean products that will last forever. I hope it's not a trend. I hope that the botanical lifestyle becomes part of many people's lives. And uh, I feel that they'll be very grateful for the natural and result-driven products that we have. I know I want in on that. Oh, we have another product that I, I'm, tr I'm actually in Greece as we speak now. It's 11 p.m. here. Um, but we have a product. It's, uh, it's the Jet Pack, and I don't leave home without it. I know that that's been coined, but I'm saying it anyway. Um, it is a CBD, and it is um, magnesium, which we all know helps us sleep, and melatonin. So we have three natural ingredients in it. And let me tell you, I had to go to, uh, the first time that I used it after formulating, I was in Russia for two nights from Miami. And I slept all night. I wasn't groggy at all the next day. And it's like the opposite for us. And then two days later, I got back to Miami, back on my schedule. I was like, this really works. So I travel with that all the time. I don't leave home without it. Uh, it also comes with our immune spray, which is vitamin C and zinc, which is great, especially, you know, for travel because you're, it's, uh, it's hard on your immune system. So that's a great one-two punch that I don't ever leave home without. It's our jet pack and we're using that a lot in the hotels and people are so grateful. They're writing in about it, how it's changed their lives. And a lot of people that I know, even just in the States are using the jet pack because it helps them sleep. And, you know, sleep is very important. That's wow. Sleep is very important for beauty. I will tell you that. Absolutely. Seven, how long yeah. do you sleep, Stacey? Um, I sleep about seven and a half hours a night. If I get eight hours, I'm super excited. But seven and a half is about usual what I get. And it's I I don't mess around with that. I mean, sleep is is when you, you know, repair your body. You have to calculate about how much REM sleep you get. One and a half to two hours is very important. Um, yes, yeah, sleep is super important for beauty and for being a businesswoman. Well, thank you so much for your time, Stacey. I'm going to have to get that job pack. I'm headed to Greece later this summer. Maybe I'll see you there. Please remind everyone where they can find and follow you and, of course, get your products. Well, it's botanicallife.com. You can buy us online. We're at Neiman Mark. We're at several stores, large department stores. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, um, but we are out there in many big stores, Botanical Life, and I look forward to everyone trying it. And I'm grateful for your interview, Jesslyn. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, good luck to everybody with Botanical Life. Oh, thank you so much, Stacey. Stay well. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Keep it here on FanFester. We'll be back with more after this break. Start it up. Welcome back to the FanFesta Report. In recent celebrity business news, collabs are just as hot as ever. Dior is collaborating with the world famous artist, Travis Scott. This is Dior's first collaboration that they've made with the artist. And the full collection consists of tops, jackets, and pants, and also includes a few jewelry items. Prices for the collaboration have not been released, but we expect them to be top top. Previous collabs with Dior have skyrocketed. The Dior Jordans are at $10,000 on sneaker resale app StockX. Fans are super excited as Travis debuted the starting lineup 
and with record high temperatures all over America, the hunt for the perfect swimwear is just as hot. American rapper Sweetie, who has approximate net worth of $4 million, and Matt Collection are teaming up creating a line of bikinis, sarongs, pants, and mesh dresses with zebra-looking patterns. This collection celebrates the rapper's fabulous and insta-worthy style and is accessible to all shapes and sizes, so it can be an icy girl summer for all. And action. And at the same time, on a different beach, American songwriter Megan Thee Stallion, whose net worth is $3 million, has joined forces with private fast fashion company Fashion Dova, who's valued at $450 million. The collection involves swimwear, as well as dresses, accessories, sheer cover-ups, and matching sets with bright neon colors. Matching clothing for dog moms also included. $1.2 million in sales were made in the first 24 hours after launch. The prices range from $24.99 to $199, with a total of 106 pieces available at fashionnova.com. Designing this line with Fashion Nova has been a labor of love. Said so fans, how would you invest? Sweetie and Matt or Megan the Stallion and Fashion Nova? Follow at Fanbuster to cast your vote. And action. So fans, if you want to get in on the next mega celebrity brand, it's time. Fanbuster is an innovative digital crowdfunding platform, think Star Engine meets E, where fans can support their favorite celebrities, fashion icons, athletes, actors, etc., and invest with heart. Fans can participate through e-commerce auctions and get perks of one-of-a-kind experiences. Accredited and non-accredited fans can also invest in equity crowdfunding projects. And right now, you can actually invest in Fanvestor, which will soon be launching. Our social squad hit the streets of Hollywood Boulevard to hear from the fans which celebrities and what products they would invest in. Let's take a look. When you hear about celebrities and what they're doing, where do you get your information from? Instagram. 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 Instagram? Yeah. Mostly Instagram. What celebrity would you purchase a product from and why? For me, I would have to choose Demi Lovato because okay. yeah. she she's like big on like equal rights for everyone. Melanie. Melanie Martinez. Yeah. For me, it'd be Rihanna. If you look at any of her um, makeup, clothing, mm -hmm. you can tell that she genuinely is just like not sipping, uh, sticking to the typical person. Yeah. Or a societally standard person as exactly. in white, skinny, small. Um, and she just, you know, provides a lot more for, you know, people of color. I exactly. want to give you a hat as well. Oh, thank if you. you want. Thank you so much yeah, for this doing one. this. Yeah. Be sure to check out our podcast. We will. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Investor is home to the recent launch of Amari Stoudemire's latest venture, Masa, a new college and product designed for those with an active lifestyle. Masa translates to journey in Hebrew, and the team at Fanvestor is so excited to be on this journey together. Amari is a six-time NBA All-Star, Olympic bronze medalist, and most recently, the 2020 MVP in the Israeli Championships. He's an entrepreneur with an organic farm, a clothing line, and a series of children's books. Amari is also a winemaker and a player development coach for the Brooklyn Nets. A portion of the proceeds from Masa sales go to the Amari Stoudemire Foundation, and that provides at-risk youth with educational opportunities. So fans, you're gonna wanna get in on these perks and experiences. Buy Masa and you can also get a limited edition Stoudemire hoodie, a one-on-one -on -one game of NBA 2K with Amari, a virtual round of boxing with Amari at Rebel Gym, dinner with Amari in New York prepared by a personal chef, and the best perk, a trip to Israel with Amari, and he'll take you through a tour of the holy sites. Also now available on Fanbester, you can get hashtag hair dope created by Super Dope Q. This hair color brand includes a hair brightener, pre-shampoo, hair juice, and hair wax, a temporary wax. Hair color is hotter than ever, and most stylists consider a fashion accessory part of an outfit, a personal style. Hair dope is inclusive to both wigs and natural hair and has nourishing ingredients like olive oil, shea butter, argan oil, and keratin. The formulas are water-based, free of salt and parabens, and ammonia-free. And even more, it's vegan and cruelty-free. And now that their hair is dope, fans can get in on the perks and experiences. A purchase of the full hair dope set comes with a limited edition Super Dope Q hoodie. You can also shop Q's closet or invest in a personal styling session on Zoom or a personal style session and makeover by Q in Atlanta. And the best part, a trip to Black Ink Studio in Atlanta where you and your boo can get matching tattoos. Thanks again, fans, for joining us on this episode of the Fan Vester Report. And a huge shout out to Stacey Shabate and congratulations on Botanical Life. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.